Masoka universe. Happy face all around. This evening went just perfect. Both of my favorite teams were playing, both of them are winning, both are not conceding goals. How happy can I be? I'm also very happy wearing this 98 Netherlands shirt that I got just a few weeks ago uh, for no particular reason that I absolutely, other than that I absolutely love it. But yeah, let's talk about games. I actually, the only game I really watched was Milan uh, against Empoli, where yeah, uh, in the first half Milan had some trouble. Um, Almeida was a little bit too, how to say, sloppy in controlling the game. Uh, but they were overall controlling. I mean, there were one or two chances for Amp Ampoli, but you could already tell that Milan is the team that um, plays it, but they played slow, they didn't play well. And I think um, since Suso wasn't playing, I mean, it was Castillejo and Conti on the right side. These were the two changes uh, from the now regular lineup. And yeah, it looked interesting, but uh, nothing too exciting. The game could have taken a whole other turn uh, if in the 10th minute the goal of um, Paqueta would have stood but I already thought when the goal was taken that this looked offside and then they showed a replay it looked offside and there were three players offside and yeah I uh, was not happy about uh, the goal being disallowed but of course I mean it was fine uh, it just took forever I mean they were self cel celebrating Paqueta with uh, you know everything and then suddenly mm -hmm, no offside but it was the correct call and then Milan had a little bit hard time getting things going to be honest but uh, second half just when I was explaining to my wife you know how I'm watching and so on and that I hope that Milan will get something going they got something going Jalanoglu plays a pass in Piontek scores what can I say Piontek making his I have lost count, but he has more goals uh, than games for Milan and he is only playing until the 70th minute every time. It's unbelievable. He again is right where he's supposed to be, the ball comes his way, he knows where to find it, put it in the net, scores it. Uh, he is the new darling of San Siro. I mean, there's no question about it. Uh, really, really great acquisition, I said this already. And then uh, Castillejo uh, crowns his great performance with uh, a really nice through pass to Cassier just two minutes later, who lobs it over the goalkeeper 2 0. And yeah, that, that was the game. Uh, that was exactly what Milan needed. Two quick goals, uh, game is wrapped up. Castillejo actually scored one. Uh, I think it was on the pass by Conti. Uh, also, very nicely done, uh, put it in the short corner. And yeah, Milan didn't have to do much to get the three goals. And this is probably the best thing that I can say. It was a pragmatic performance, but uh, Empoli didn't, uh, you know, they had they had a few uh, chances that got me a little bit on the edge of my of the couch. But overall, I never thought that Emp Empoli's threat threatening. I just was hoping that Milan will break through and get this done. And they done they did it. 3-0, it should have been 4-0. Uh, Borini scored going through many defenders and then just, uh, I, I don't know who it was, uh, was in an offside position, but there was no pass going through him. I don't know why this goal was disallowed. Uh, by the strictest letter of the law, yes, there's a touch by Borini. Uh, suddenly that could have been a pass if it wasn't deflected by the defender, blah, 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 blah. Borini just uh, worked himself through four defenders uh and scored a nice goal and i really wanted that he will get his goal i mean kudrone had a chance that was offside and then another one where he tried to assist borini again offside i think the offside trap was not there were quite some offsides for milan but yeah three nil i'm happy lusk a little bit earlier won two nil uh so that the austrian season star starts out again it is uh just wonderful how things are going at the moment um you basically have already i mean austrian league we have now 12 teams they play each other once and then the top six play for the championship and bottom six 
uh, is a qualification round where the winner has a chance in a playoff to maybe get a European spot or some absolutely ridiculous stuff. But we don't need to bother with it. Let's look uh, quickly Serie A before we move on to other leagues. Um, uh, the standings. Milan now is again within the point of Inter, who play Fiorentina. I keep my fingers crossed that Fiorentina will actually uh, get points of Inter. And yeah, four points ahead of Roma. Milan looks good at the moment. I'm very cautiously saying this. But what I have to say, the last few weeks, in December, they looked horrible. But they didn't give up that many goals either. And now they got the goals and they have to moving forward. When since uh, the season restarted, they have looked positive, absolutely every single time. Yes, they got two draws and uh, and wins, but the two draws were at home to Napoli and away to Roma. And I think those are games that you can draw. Um, I'm at the moment quite optimistic the way Milan is going. So um, let's see. How they can continue. It seems that Gattuso is taking right after Zidane uh, as a man manager. Uh, let's look at other uh, leagues. I have not seen any highlights from these, but uh, interesting results. Bremen Stuttgart 1 1. Uh, that's a point gained for Stuttgart for sure. Um, who actually had the uh, goal in the first minute? I just see. But you know, they still will not be able to relieve the relegation zone. Um, so this was Zuba. Uh, made it 1 0 in the first minute for Stuttgart, and then Klassen, a right on stroke of halftime, uh, makes it 1 1. Uh, we had a few games in England, the Premier League, Watford rolling over Cardiff City. It was 1 0 at halftime through De Olefeo. That actually I saw as a score. And then, yeah, De Olefeo scores a hat trick, Dini scores two, and Sol Bamba just puts one back for Cardiff City. Uh, but you know, it was already 4 0. So 5 1 destruction of Cardiff City by Watford. Uh, and I saw the last 10 minutes of West Ham against Fulham, but at that moment it was already uh, decided. Again, early goal, Babel scored an early goal for Fulham. Then Chicharito and Diop before halftime make it 2 1 for West Ham. And I saw the third goal actually, um, Arnautovic uh, serving the ball very nicely onto the head of Antonio, who slots it home. I was actually curious to see uh, is Arnautovic playing from the beginning? No, I don't think he was playing from the beginning. No, he was put in for Chicharito. Um, I looked a little bit at his body language. It's a little bit too much, this the Arnautovic that I don't like. Uh, and, you know, I watch him because I know he's probably at the moment the best player that Austria has, together with Alaba, but um, he has contributed a lot in the national team as of late. So, uh, for that reason. But um, he gets a little bit too frustrated and he's not always onto it. I mean, and uh, there were a few scenes. So, um, but yeah, now he got the assist. I think he wants to go back into the squad after all this trouble that he caused in the January transfer window for next to nothing. Um, I hated what he was doing. I absolutely hated it. But you know, I know that's him. Espanyol, Huesca, 1-1. One, one. That's a lost point for Espanyol for sure. Granero got an early one and then just after halftime at Celta. Uh, gets the point, so Wesker uh, makes another point, and Espanyol seemingly safe, but it's only seven points uh, to Villarreal. So I really don't like what Espanyol is doing at the moment. Uh, they were so well at the beginning of the season, and now they completely are missing it. Uh, I missed actually two League A games uh, during the week. I think uh, PSG made a 5 1 against Gargan. Uh, not Gargan, uh, Montpellier, which is actually the last team not called PSG to win the French uh, title. Let me just check up on, on those um, quickly. Uh, and I, I, I know. Yeah, I cannot. Uh, and then I know Bordeaux played a nil-nil draw, so we have quite some makeup games already. And today we had Saint Etienne winning at Dijon. Uh, I had the game actually a little bit on, but you know, uh, I didn't pay too much attention to it because I want to put, put the kids to bed. Uh, Subotic actually makes the goal. 
Um, in Strasbourg Lille 1-1. One, one. It's also not a bad result. Uh, Gonsalves gets an equalizer. Stras uh, Lille had uh, for Strasbourg Lille had uh, Jonathan Nicone had the uh, art had the lead. And that basically means I mean PSG is still two games behind. Um, but now if they have played this week they're only one game behind. Lille 51 points, PSG 65. I mean that's all you need to know. Lyon has now a chance to uh, get closer to Lille, which as far as I can tell would mean if you're second, you get the fixed spot in the Champions League. Saint Etienne uh, momentarily leapfrogs Marseille. Uh, if Marseille wins their level on points and it, it remains to be seen, Montpellier is then the next one, 38 points. Strasbourg is moving up ahead of Nice and yeah, let's see. Uh, where is Dijon? They are just outside the relegation. They will be now the relegation playoff uh, spot. Yeah. The bottom looks a lot more interesting than the top, but I think that the race for the um, European spots in France, that's actually quite interesting. Uh, also interesting is what's happening in Portugal. That's actually quite tight league at the moment. And we have Porto, it's not quite done yet. Oh, it's actually half time. Uh, they're one nil up at Tondela, but uh, that that's gonna be an important one for them, because then they have uh, now a four point lead, and uh, Benfica just can only close up. And Braga is all sorta in there as well. That's probably of the bigger leagues the closest one. So something to watch. Maybe I will watch a little bit more coming up. But anyway, I'm very happy with my Milan. I'm very happy with Lusk. Uh, cannot tell you. This is the dream start of the weekend. Uh, I'm going to watch. I just saw a few games that I want to see. I mean, Inter Fiorentina would be nice to see, of course, uh, United against Liverpool. Tomorrow, Sevilla, Barca. I think those are kind of the highlights that I've looked out for myself. Okay, let me know. If you saw any games today, and if yes, whether you agree with my assessment, or if you have seen others, let me know what you have watched. Um, as you can tell, I'm through the roof happy. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.